Ms. Gilway mentioned the fact that a Piney Ridge Elementary School student today is going to take Todd Heap to class. Yeah. Yesterday, I got to spend five minutes. With I a know he loved this one. With a supermodel. <laughs> Heidi Klum. <laughs> And please welcome Heidi Klum back to the Eyewitness News Morning Edition. And Hi! <laughs> Hi to you. And I've got to tell you that I love your Guitar Hero commercial. Ooh, thank you. And I'm a big fan of It was of your a work. lot of fun. It was Go ahead. harder than I thought. I it was very, it was very hard. I thought it was going to be an easy gig, but that was difficult. I was headbanging for five hours straight. That was not easy. Well, you pulled it off because it but looks it like fun. it would be an easy gig. I thought I thought it was going to be easy, but wow, dancing around and you know swinging your hair around for five hours—that was difficult. Doesn't happen to me very often, and I, I also have to compliment you on your work on Project Runway. Ah, uh, thank you. I thought you were just going to be a pretty addition to that, and you turn out to you—you you command the show. It was very—it was nicely done. Thank you. Right, and of course we have another Victoria's Secret fashion show in the Christmas season. And what's different about this show? You always do something different. Well, this year we're going to Miami, uh, to the Fountain Blue Hotel, which I just renovated um, for over a billion dollars. It was really spectacular. I mean, they really made such an effort to make it glamorous and make it very, very special for us. They opened the hotel um, for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. And this year's idea was called Glamour is Back. And, you know, Victoria's Secret thought that was very suitable with the Fountain Blue because Elvis used to go there, the Rat Pack used to go there. Like it was a very hip and happy happening place back in the day and um, you know our costumes are very much you know glamour oriented you know our hair our makeup and you know our costumes and the wings and you know it's it's very very fun show to watch Usher is performing this year so it's it's a great great show Usher's cool he's no he's no seal but he's cool right he's no seal but he's cool <laughs> <laughs> you, he said it <laughs> I, I'm, in, I'm interested to know, I, you know, I figured just the costumes would be enough. The venue makes a difference to the models? It does. You know, we've done it in New York City many, many years. We've done it in Los Angeles for the last three years. We've gone to Cannes. Um, and it is fun. It is fun, you know, to have a little change of scenery. If it's always in the same place and it kind of gets old and boring. I mean, for us, too, we want to be entertained, too, and have a different kind of look and feel and, you know, have a different venue. The runway is different this year, too. It's not just a straight, regular runway. It has two, and you know, two ways to come in. So it kind of makes the look of the show a little bit different. And, you know, producing a show myself, it's interesting for me, too, how things are done and it's a little bit different. So I like that. They built this beautiful tent. Um, it, it takes a lot of work. You know, when you see a show that, you know, is over in 30 minutes, but it takes months and months and months of preparation. You know, they have to build the set and, you know, bring in so many people. And uh, the costumes alone, eight months, there were all these people working on these one-of-a-kind pieces. Okay, we always hear that, but uh, we've got a couple seconds left here. We've taken care of that show. What's next for Heidi Klum? What's next? Christmas! Yeah. No, uh, I mean, work-wise. Work-wise? Well, you know, we just finished um, shooting um, Project Runway again. Now we're waiting for our air date um, because they're having a bit of a battle on who is going to air our show. And, um, you know, we're waiting for that to happen. I'm actually going to Germany for, for 10 days in, in about two weeks' time because I have a show in Germany as well. So I'm going there to cast my new contestants. I do Tyra's show in Germany. I do Germany's Next Top Model. So I'm going to cast the girls, and then in January I'm going to start with, um, you know, with a new cast here in Los Angeles. But Project Runway might be on a different network this time? Well, yeah, we were supposed to go to Lifetime, and, and you know, they're kind of battling. You know, the, the show is just so great. What sure. can I tell you? That, <laughs> that, you know, they can't figure out where we're going to air. We used to be on Bravo, and then Lifetime um, bought the show, and they're all fighting over us now. Well, that's got to feel really nice. <laughs> I mean, I'm very happy, you know, that, you know, our show, you know, that we have a lot of fans, and, you know, people are fighting over it, but, you know, I hope that they figure out their fight, and that we can start <laughs> airing very soon. <laughs> Sounds like the producer in you once again. Thank you very much, Heidi. It's always no, nice. No, because, you know, I, I, we, we have these amazing designers, and I just want them to be seen. I want it to start already. All right. It's always nice to talk to you. You too. Best of luck. And, of course, Thank the Victoria's you. Secret Fashion Show tomorrow night on CBS, right here on CBS. Kathleen will have the latest on traffic for you. And I believe it's Bernadette with First Warning Weather. Don't go away. We're coming right back.